Good morning YouTube. Today I'm going to set the radiator off the car, not because there's anything wrong with the radiator particularly, but because this support frame that it's mounted to and which bolts it to the car, that does tend to go very rusty and I need to get the support frame off the car in order to treat that rust adequately. While I've got the front bumper off the car, now is the time to do this because it makes access a lot easier, but if you need to remove your radiator and you don't want to remove the bumper, it is possible to get it out. You will need to remove this black plastic under tray which mounts to the underside of the support frame with four M6 screws but once you've got that out of the way then the whole thing will drop down radiator and support frame together and come out. Bear in mind you will need to lift the front of the car quite high up if you don't want to remove the bumper because you've got to give yourself clearance to drop the radiator all the way down and slide it out from under the front bumper but with that said here's how you do it. Working underneath the car disconnect the lower radiator hose from the right hand side of the radiator and drain the coolant then there's this Y-shaped bracket which comes down. Remove the lower fixing where it goes into the support frame, just there where my finger is. Then come across. You don't need to disconnect the wiring for the fans, but slide that off the support frame. So just slide the entire connector off its little stud on the support frame there. And then when that's out of the way, remove the lower fixings for the fans on each side there. You can leave the fan itself hanging from the upper fixings, but you'll need to remove the lower ones from the support frame. And then undo the same on the left hand side. So remove the fixings at the bottom of the fan, the bolt from the bottom of the Y piece, and then, sorry if the wobbly camera makes anyone feel nauseous, but this is the only way we can do it. And then look up and between the prongs of the left hand Y piece, you'll find the upper radiator hose. So disconnect that upper radiator hose. You'll probably have to undo the Jubilee clip from the underside here, but it's actually easier to pull the hose off from above. So reach down from inside the engine bay to pull the hose off the radiator. And then still working underneath the car, in between the radiator fans, this bracket is part of the support frame and that's bolted to the cross, gray cross member of the chassis here by two bolts with which is an eight millimeter socket just there and just there. So undo those, the nuts on the back are captive. If the wiring for the fans has been zip tied to the support frame, then cut the zip tie off so that you can remove the support frame without dragging all the wiring with us. Then release the three bolts which secure the pronger on the engine under frame to the radiator support frame. There's one each side at the bottom just here and then there's another one on top of the pronger on just in there. You can just see it. So when you have those three bolts undone and you've got yourself a bit of wriggle room now, then slip the radiator fans off their studs. So just pull the, rad the bottom of the radiator fan backwards and that will allow the support frame and the radiator to drop down. We've only got one more bolt to undo now and it'll come out, but remember that, that when we go to take it out, although you can't see it in the video, the spigot for the top radiator hose is still between the prongs of the Y piece there, so when we take the radiator out, you'll have to pull it forward slightly so that the radiator hose spigot can clear the, the Y piece there. So we've just got one more bolt to undo, this one that connects the radiator support frame to this bracket for the tow bar and then the whole radiator and subframe assembly should drop down. So bear in mind when you take that bolt out, make sure this doesn't all land in your face. And then when you remove that bolt it should all just be free to drop down. Let's just see how we get on. And it normally needs a fair old tug. Out. And now with it off the car it's a bit easy to show you how it's fitted. There are two spigots on the top of the radiator which go into grommets in, in the chassis cross member and then you can just lift it out of the radiator support frame. Similarly there are a couple of spigots at the bottom which go into grommets in the support frame. So that's that off. We're now going to flush the radiator and sort the support frame out. While we're in here though, we're also going to give some love to the Y pieces, the, chassis, the rust on the chassis cross member. One of these fans needs a bit of attention. Also, we're going to sort out the rust on this towing bracket, which is held on just by two bolts at the top there, which bolted to the chassis cross member. Well, you've got the radiator off the car, flush it out to get all the rust and other sediment that's accumulated 
in it over the years out. Now the normal flow of water is in through the top radiator hose and out through the bottom radiator hose. So we want to back flush, we want to reverse circulate it so we wash all the sediment and rust out of the radiator rather than washing it deeper in. So just take a hose pipe, put it in the bottom hose, turn the water on, and just wash all that filth out and keep flushing until it runs clear. the anti-roll bar if you want to get the lower heat shield out to replate it. Our heat shield is very shiny. Let's get it back on the car. Now the exact layout at the front here might be a little bit different to you, particularly if you've got air conditioning, but the idea is much the same. So we've reattached the Y pieces and done the top fixings up tight. We've also done up the top fixings for the fans, but the toe bracket at the front here, just mount that loosely at this stage to give yourself a bit of wriggle room. Then when you've done that, offer up the radiator and the support frame as an assembly. Now. It's better if you've got a helper, really. But the radiator spigots into their grommets at the top. He says. Now, the trick is you need to sort of get the fans out of the way at the same time. And when they're into the chassis cross member, then assemble the towing brackets to the support frame and insert a new M8 90mm long bolt loosely at this stage and with that that should be enough just to hold it in for now then put in the three M6 bolts that bolt the pronger on to the support frame from the back and then the next bit from the back is a bit of a fiddle, just because you're trying to get all 11 remaining nuts and bolts in simultaneously, really. But firstly, get the radiator hoses pulled back and out of the way. Otherwise, the radiator is just going to sort of stand up on those as you're trying to get it in, and that's just going to provoke a load of swearing. So once they're out of the way, then the way I found to do it, really, is put the fans on next, get the bottom fixings for the fans back on their studs on the support frame and then just nip them up loosely with new five millimeter nylax that just helps to get everything nice and square laterally and vertically which makes putting the rest of the nuts and bolts in a bit easier the next easiest ones are probably the eight millimeter bolts at the bottom of the wide pieces there so get those in and just do everything up loosely at first until you've got everything started and then we'll nip them up tight at the end put the uh, connectors for the fan wiring back on their little studs there the three bolts for the pronger on to the support frame there and then the same obviously on the other side and then the two at the top don't forget about those little bolts at the top there which bolt through the chassis cross member and into the support frame in particular when you're putting those ones back on don't forget to hopefully you can just about see don't forget to put that little earth clamp back on as well and make sure that's a nice clean earth there because that earth wire there is the sole earth for both of the radiator fans so you need to make sure that's nipped up nice and tight and nice and clean but once you've got them all started then nip up the six millimeter bolts to about 10 newton meters do the 
eight millimeter bolts up to 20 newton meters and that's it job's a good one i'm on the home straight now slip the radiator hoses back on top and bottom and tighten up the jubilee clips so there you go then folks that's a really good job done and with all the other chassis corrosion treatment work we did while we were in there that should last us another 20 years so all that remains is to fill it up with coolant and bleed it the way we looked at it in the last video and then sit back with a big gin and tonic cheers see you next time